and Dr. Jill Biden, accompanied by the Vice President of the United States. Everybody. Every time I hear hail to the chief, I turn around and say, where is he? I'm getting used to it, though. Folks, thanks for being here. Welcome to your house. And you're the way, oh, you think I'm kidding. I know who, I know who owns this place. Thank you. That bird, right, that, that pigeon. <laughs> Folks, uh, first of all, let me begin by thanking all our families. I think we underestimate sometimes — hey, Tommy, how are you? I think we underestimate sometimes how much pressure is put on the family — our kids, our grandkids, our spouses, our parents. And I want to thank you. And that's why this is really not for the members of Congress. This is for all their families. That's this all about. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, folks, look, um, I want a special welcome to Speaker Emeritus, and she's, oh, she's going to be my speaker her whole life, I think, my whole life. And uh, I want to say Nancy and her — and her, right there. There, there you are, Nancy. Well, she's hiding behind that big guy, you know what I mean? And her two grandsons and uh, Leader Schumer and his wife and his, and his daughter-in-law. And by the way, he has a grandson. Now he — now we know who we want to get anything done, we go to his grandson. He's only five years old, and we can get it done. And, folks, uh, also, I want to thank uh, uh, Leader Jeffries. Uh, he's a — the reason I like him so much, he's got a — he's got a backbone like a ramrod, and he's got great integrity. And uh, Speaker McCarthy, who I don't want to hurt his reputation, but I actually like him. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't want to hurt you. But all kidding aside, we've been able to work together, and I appreciate it very much. And um, I don't know whether Dick Durbin's here. He was supposed to be coming down, as well as uh, uh, Whip Clark. I'm not sure she's here as well. But at any rate, there you are. Okay. We're all set then. Look, folks, uh, you know, Jill and I especially want to thank you and all the families for coming. I hope you have a good time. This is nothing formal about this. This is your house. This is the people's house. This is uh, this is the night that uh, my favorite picture. I was, I'm, I'll end with this. My favorite picture that I, we have in this residence, as well as home, is when our boys were seven and eight years old at one of the at one of the congressional picnics. And they're standing way down there, and they're both looking at the monument, and the White House is in the background. It's my favorite picture of all time. And I just want you to know, I hope you enjoy the night, and uh, I hope uh, you uh, are able to spend some time with one another as well. You don't get a lot of opportunity to do that. And uh, it reminds me of the work that we have to do. You know, for all the disagreements we have, we got to remember, at the end of the day, we're friends. That's how it's always been. We've got to be friends, good to each other. And I, no, I, I mean it. And I think we're getting there. So I want to thank you all very much for coming. I'm not going to say anything more. You want to say anything, Madam Vice President? Th thank you all. Your role of leadership, the sacrifice that the families make, really does make a difference in terms of the good work that we do together for the sake of our country. So I thank you all for what you do every day. God bless America. Let's get going.